this is the epitome of an analog car for me. This is my poster car that was hanging on my wall when I was young. And this is actually a dream. Now it has been awfully quiet around this car for the past few months. And turns out it's not that easy to get a car like this registered in Switzerland. Now what do I mean by a car like this? So this 911 is a bit of a Frankenstein. So it essentially is a 911 Carrera 3.2, um, but with the standard engine, uh, we do have matching numbers and all these fancy things. But at the same time, we do have the wide arches in the rear, the turbo arches, and then again, we do have the Carrera wing in the back. So it's a bit of a Frankenstein, but let's be honest, the prices for the 930 turbos are actually insane. And yeah, this was possible for me. This has always been my dream. I always wanted to have a wider looking car. It had to be the color that it's in, the Prussian blue, looking super sexy in the sun. Uh, it's a bit of a family thing. If you have watched, uh, oh, this is a 993 GT2 as it looks. Nice one there, <laughs> casual. Um, so it's a bit of a family thing with the color. If you've watched the video of my 944 first drive of the first 944 that I've owned, uh, there I explained everything. But yeah, so driving this car up here, we are on the hills of Zurich, uh, above Zurich. And uh, little would you know that they actually have really good and twisty roads where you can properly drive this car. Now the project initially was planned to be a six month uh, quick restoration project. In the end it turned out to be a full two year project. Uh, we did the entire interior was redone. Uh, we did a lot of rust. Uh, work because there was a lot of rust damage on the side skirts that was done um, a lot of painting so yeah initially turned out to take a bit longer but we do have the classic Momo prototype steering wheel that you have to have on your G body if that's what you like and I also have a short shifter in the car now if you've never had the chance to drive a car like this, really an analog car from the 80s, this is a 1986 car with the 915 transmission. So no ABS, no traction control, just 231 horsepower screaming at you. And I have to say, you kind of have to learn how to drive again with a car and a transmission like this because the 915 transmission was a really good transmission back in the days right 1986 it was a 911 already a classic back then but for today's standard obviously it is quite tricky to drive and to get used to as you just heard downshifts not the easiest thing ever so i really had to learn how to properly drive again with this transmission and simple things like going slow speeds uh, you can't just shift into first when in traffic things like that uh, you always have to stand still and then go into first gear because of how the transmission is set up and so things like that that you really have to get used to and it's sort of like learning how to drive again but then on stretches like this on these curvy roads twisty roads here on the hills this is really where this car is a lot of fun. The six cylinder engine, super lightweight. Let's get it into second. And then at around 4,000, it really starts to scream. When you take it around these twisty roads here, super tight actually. And you don't even need to go that fast because it's just so pure. You don't have power steering, but it's not like you would need it at all. And I mean, the roads around here are just perfect for it. 
Now, as you can hear, the car is naturally aspirated. In second, oh, it just screams. The brakes are quite all right as well. Now, after the 86 car, so pretty much starting from 1987, the 911s came with the G50 transmission. So my car is a late 86 car, so pretty much one of the last cars that was delivered with the 915 transmission. And afterwards with the G50, you know, the transmission got much better, uh, much more stable, much better to find gears in, which is also why I have installed the short shifter. It's much more direct, much better to find the gears and just a bit more fun and a bit more direct whenever you drive. And then from the late 1980s on, we had the 964 and then afterwards the 993. So uh, yeah, obviously the cars got a lot more modern, but this has always been the sort of classic for me, you know, the real driving machine. And it really, really hasn't disappointed so far. But yeah, so I just wanted to make a quick update video. I first drive off this car, enough talking of me. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is gonna show you some footage um, of just pure driving uh, to enjoy for yourself because this is what this car is all about. It's meant for driving, it's meant to enjoy, and this is what it does. But if you have any questions, feel free to shoot them down below. I'll be back again sometime with another update. I'm also planning to do a full um, cinematic video with this car. Uh, but other than that, uh, I'll see you soon, guys.